Hey everybody, uh, this is Mike, and uh, to do it yourself, fixing it with the lawnmower. Today I'm going to put in a uh, safety heater into this American Standard Whirlpool bath. We're going to put a uh, heat pump in there so you can see what it looks like inside. It's a coiled heater. I'm going to put it, uh, it goes right here. I put this frame in on the uh, Whirlpool bath so it's going to make it a little harder out of there. So I got to take this out and put that one in there. Well, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. Well, that'll be the day. Identify and locate the inline heater blank. blank. Should be near the pump. Okay, we know where that is, which is here. Anyway, you need these channel lock screwdriver. And I gotta unplug this whole unit right here. So you have no power going to it. Anyway, using channel locks, loosen and couplings from the whirlpool piping, remove the spacer pipe, leave the gaskets on the whirlpool pipe connectors. Okay, gaskets must be in place. All right, we understand that. Insert the safety heater in the open space of the piping and connect the couplings on the heater to the whirlpool pipe. Tighten the couplings with the channel locks and fill the tub with water and check the leaks. Install the heater ground. From the heater, let's see, run eight gauge solid copper conductors from heater bonding lug to pump motor frame. From the pump motor frame lug and from pump motor lug to approved ground as shown. It's all plastic. So first thing we're gonna do so we're going to see about getting this off, this whole thing. Okay, this way is loosening. Alright, got that one loose. Okay, whoa, figured that might happen. the rubber seal I don't see any rubber seal There's no rubber seal on that oh here it is rubber seal so it must have went that way I'm assuming it did anyway yeah well, maybe not which way did it go which way did it go Make sure it goes the right way. Like that. And let's see which way this one is. Take it off carefully. Careful. Oh. Okay, yeah, so. That's off. I need to clean that up. I'm assuming it doesn't matter which way this goes. So, we'll just put it on there like that. Snug. We'll check for leaks later. So this goes inside there like that. Hmm. That goes way up there. This washer. You can see it has that, and then it's got a flat side. Flat side goes, oh, wait a minute. No. Flat side goes out. I think I got this side wrong. So let's take this back off. Let's see if I had that wrong. 
I did, I had it backwards. Goes in this way. See? That's a good thing I checked that. Yeah, good thing I checked that. That's crazy. That would have been leaking all over the place. So, make sure that's right. That's something they don't tell you, which is great. Let's put this uh, ground cable in. Tighten it up. It's important to have ground on. Get electrical something or other going that goes down this instead of into your unit. There's a way to go. Okay. Now, got that in. I'm going to hook it to that bolt. Hopefully, it's the only place I can see to go. Sure the washer's in there good. Let's see here. Alright, so you can see how that looks. Flat side. Okay, should just fit in there. Should use some Vaseline or something. Make sure that stays in there right. And hey. Wings my back. Okay, just snug now. Use a channel locks just to, to twing it just a tad. Good enough. Now, just one little fit. Now the power is unplugged, so there's no power going to this thing. What are you doing, Mike? Today, I am putting a safety heater in. What's a safety heater, Mike? It's going to heat up the water for the whirlpool, so once the water's hot, it'll continue to keep it hot. So, Kind of like age? Kind of does, like me. Does with you? Kind of like me. It keeps me hot. Yeah. I'm hot. Like Paris Hilton says. So after you fill it up, you won't have to be putting more hot water in like you always do? The whole bolt is moving. That's why it's not tightening up. I need a pair of pliers so I can hold the top of that bolt. The pliers? Yeah, to hold the top of the bolt. Okay, hold on one minute. No, I'm there for you, So, let's get this cable, this power cord out of the way so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Hold that and tighten this. Can't really tell what I'm doing. But I'm just holding the top of the bolt with the pliers, taking the crescent wrench, put it on the nut, tighten it. Looks like it's working. Yeah, that's working. It's not my first rodeo. Alright, you got it. I got it. I'm done. Now I gotta just plug it in, uh, everything. Okay, so let's recap. I made sure that the uh, washers, the rubber seals, washers were facing the right direction. With the uh, smooth side to the new unit. There was a groove in the uh, plumbing in the whirlpool that it fit into, so we did that. And I put the ground wire, screwed it on here. The ground wire to the bolt 
and then the unit's in. So now I gotta just plug everything in. Hopefully nothing will blow up. We'll install. So plug that. This is for the okay so everything's plugged in working I have a I run a wire all the way to the breaker box and that has its own breaker period nothing else on it so that's how I work that ground cable ground wire in everything's in nothing blew up and so that's good enough for this install Okay, thank you. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, one in the PEX line and uh, hot and cold water. that we do sharing a word or two telling a story to a new friend 